Hi, my name is Nina. I'm 13 years old and I've been coming to the Gambia since I was two. The Gambia is the smallest country in Africa and one of the most poor countries in the world. Over 60% of the people live in extreme poverty and live on less than $2 a day. My mother works as a volunteer for a foundation that supports teenagers in the Gambia by paying their school fees at skill centers where they learn skills like construction, tailoring, hair and beauty, hotel management, etc. I love the country and its people, and therefore, I wanted to help the Gambian children first with this documentary and try to raise more money to pay for more school fees. About only 55% of the young people manage to get some kind of education. But even with a school or university diploma, finding employment is still difficult. In this country, we have 90% unemployment rate. However, those who received skill education are more likely to succeed as more than 85% of them have a job. If you get up to the university and you do not have an employment, but you have a skill, you can work on with your skills. Many students are graduated with lack of job, but this skill, anywhere you go, you can have job, and you can even apply it to your home. It changed my life because uh, even if I came out from this skill center, I can be able to work in it. And here you cannot work efficiently if you don't have good papers. Because I've tried, I have worked so many places, I was not given an opportunity because I was not having a good papers. Skill is something so important. Skill, it gives you self-employment. With, with your skill, even if you are not employed, but you can create yourself, your own job in which you can earn money. Nowadays, there are great opportunities in this country in terms of skills. The building industry is booming. Many people want to construct. They need builders and they need people who are skilled in the building, not just coming to put blocks, but to put solid building. Therefore, anybody who learns skills like construction will be able to have an employment immediately. People who are doing tailoring, if you qualify as a qualifies tailor, you can employ yourself. If you have the necessary support or capital, you have your machine, you can employ yourself and you can even employ people. And the other sector like electrical installation, because we all know every compound needs a lighting. Plumbing too, because we all need water. In the area of hospitality service, we need we are having people that serve as receptionists in the hotels, room, room ladies or room room men in the hotels, as well as cooks, because everybody needs food. And the area of beauty therapy, which is air dressing. Nowadays everybody wants to be a celebrity. Mm -hmm. You must make your airs and nails and other stuff, beauty therapy, medicure and pedicure. So the people who we trained here end up serving people in different sectors. Students who are enrolled in our skills training centers, a good number of them are dropped out. Drop out for many reasons. Maybe financially their background is not good at all, so they cannot pay for their fees, so they have dropped out. Or they are not very good academically. So they want to make best use of their hands to learn a livelihood skills. So let's say if all those dropouts are left alone and they are in the streets, they become a burden to the government and even to themselves. Maybe you will do business, she will do business for me to go and take with, uh, the kids, deaf kids, to teach, to teach them how he also learn. I want to work at a hotel industry, but I want to become a receptionist. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's my dream. Every person that has a job here in this country supports on average about 10 family members that are unemployed. My salary is 95%. All goes to my family because I'm the only son that my family have and I'm the only one who is helping them. They are all at the village. So 95% of my salary goes to my family. I'm helping nearly 10 people. Thank you for changing my life as a young girl. 
I should be in maybe I will be in the street doing other jobs. But because of the sponsor, I'm now working, I'm now helping my family, which is very great. Now I can say I'm a proud mother, I'm a proud teacher, and I'm very happy because of you guys. Thank you so much. Our foundation mainly focuses on educating the girls, as it is mostly the girls that do not get the chance to get any education. My mom was not working, she was sick. So it's only my father. And she used to go, he used to go to the farm. Then when we reached at grade 12, we are twins. So my younger brother, then I give chance to my brother. You know, in Africa, men are the ones who take responsibility of the house. So then I give chance to my younger brother. Without education, you are nowhere. And if you educate a girl, you educate the whole world. You educate a man, you educate a single person. Here, if you don't go for school as a girl sitting at home, they always push you to go to married and even the husband you do not like they will beat you you go there our young girls most of them are unskilled what can they do nothing and therefore becomes vulnerable whether through sexual exploitation or other hard labor they can show you money and try to sleep with them damage their career that's very very bad Sometimes you can even put yourself into the prostitution just to get money or they abuse you just to get money for you to be somebody else. When you go for school, you can escape all those things. So this is why helping the girls go for school is very, very, very important in our society. Because it will also help to reduce even the illegal migration into Europe which is locally called Barkway. Before you perish in the wild sea, you have your skills, you stay here and earn, as not everything is rosy down there. A lot of families, they lose their sons. Some ladies, even ladies, some of them, they go, they lose their life, and it's very, very bad in our society. I think it's very important to sensitize our own people to stay do something, use their knowledge to get something in the country. Skill education is of vital importance to the development of the country. That is why since 2002, the Gambian Children First Foundation has sponsored over 700 students at skill centers. Gambian Children First, your interventions in our education sector has just made an increase in the enrollment rate because you are sponsoring the less privileged people, the needy kids. And as a result, at the end of the day, when you sponsor them, they in turn of becoming productive. So therefore we call on the donors to add up what they are doing and others to come up and help in order to realize that dream of skilled Gambian youth. Most of our skill centers offer two-year skill programs. School fees are on average 165 euros per year. My aim is to educate 100 girls. Can you please help me reach my goal? For more information, please visit our website at gambianchildren.nl. On behalf of the Gambian youth, thank you so much for your interest.